Hey, what's up everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to place your brightness slider inside your status bar. So with your slider in the status bar, you'll be given even quicker access to adjust your brightness as well as a better preview of what your actual display will look with your brightness adjusted. So because unless you're on Android Lollipop, when you adjust the brightness, you have to pull down your notification panel and you can easily adjust it, which is fine, but I'm not giving a good preview of what my actual display will look because my notification area is pretty much all black. So once I adjust it, I might go back to my display and still realize that it's not bright enough or dark enough, so I have to go back and then just probably tweak it a little bit more. So we're just going to show you how to place it inside of your status bar with a free application, which is called display brightness pretty simple and it's free so another great thing about this application is that it's fully customizable so you can adjust how the actual slider looks where it's placed and a bunch of other different aspects of it so let's just go through the settings and show you how to get yours set up so the first thing you can do is select the size now you'll see above I get a preview so I can make it pretty fat which doesn't look too flattering on my display so I like to keep it somewhere in the middle, big enough, and I'll probably make it a little bit bigger just for the sake of this video because I regularly use it pretty small and make it kind of faint by manipulating the colors and transparency. So then the next thing you can do is select a color. So I'll just make it real bright just for this video right now. So let's make it, hmm, let's just make it that color. I think that'll stick out on my screen. And you can also use a color circle if that works better for you. Then you can just apply. And then you can adjust transparency as well. So let's make this all the way up just so you can definitely see it on this video. And then you can select the background. So this actually allows us to adjust the color of the empty space on our sliding bar, if that's what you want to call it. And then you can adjust the transparency as that. And then there's indicator indicator color, which if you see when I adjust, you see the faint numbers in the middle of my screen. You can actually adjust those colors. So let's make that pretty bright just for the sake of this video, like I said. There you go. You can see. And you can also toggle this feature off if you want, if you don't want to have these numbers in the middle of your screen. And then you can select the length and the placement of the actual slider. But we're going to keep it in the middle. And I like to put it, I like to keep it kind of long, but maybe a little bit to the left. So I might tweak that a little bit. So it works just fine on my status bar. And then you can uh, adjust the offset. You can take it out of the status bar and have it right underneath if you have some issues with your status bar and you're not able to actually manipulate the slider. And then you can select bar type. Uh, you can have volume bar, which has these little, these little bars, I guess. And then there's just a solid bar, which is the stock look of it. And then there's a set interval to change brightness. Uh, I just keep it all the way to 100, and then the lowest is 6. Uh, I don't allow negative brightness because then I won't be able to see anything on my, on my display. There's an exclude list if you want to disable this feature in particular applications. And then there's some other things you can toggle on or off, like turn off on-screen percent indicator, which is that little, this little numbers. And then there's adjust the brightness according to the battery, enable auto brightness feature by long click, one second reaction delay, auto hide indicator, and start after reboot. So once I make my changes, just enable it, and that's pretty much it. I can access this from any screen, and uh, as you can see, I can easily adjust my brightness on the fly. Uh, it's definitely convenient, in my opinion, just because I don't have to pull this down. But just so you know, if you do have this application running, you'll notice that the brightness scale or brightness um, slider in my notification area is actually gone. So all you do to get that back, if you're not digging this application, you just disable and you'll have it back in your notification area. But I'm gonna keep using this and I suggest you guys do too. Uh, definitely give it a try. Check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and definitely hit that subscribe button for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.